doing here? I left you at Stoke Hammond. You haven't even done the journey yet. Go do the journey and come back and join me. Hello, it's lovely to see you. I hope you've had a good week. So here we are leaving Stoke Hammond to go and meet somebody to deliver our solar panels and then have them fitted in Cosgrove. So our first lock of the day is lock number 23 at Stoke Hammond and I got off here and I did take some photos of it on my mobile phone and then my mobile phone fell in and landed at the bottom of the lock. So at the beginning you'll notice that I called Stoke Hammond a thankful village and that means that um, all of its First World War servicemen return safely and there are only 51 thankful villages out of the 16,000 villages in World War I sending servicemen off. arriving in Bletchley. Now Bletchley is famous for Bletchley Park which was the estate that housed the government code and cipher school and that was part of the code breaking of the German Enigma and Lorenz ciphers which enabled us to shorten the World War II by anything between two and four years and without that code breaking the actual result of the war would have been uncertain. So that all took place in this area which is just a fantastic piece of history that we are just now cruising through. So here we are approaching Willow Bridge Marina which has pump out and diesel but also has crane lift to do repairs and um, boat maintenance. Now this part of the Grand Union Canal, a real feature is the avenue of trees that line the towpath and this continues on all the way throughout Milton Keynes. The nickname for moorhens is swamp chicken because if you have a look at their legs they're very chicken like and they don't have webbed feet but they're still amazing swimmers. Do you know there's an estimated 60,000 thatched properties in the UK and uh, Dorset has the most thatched properties.
So here we are approaching Fenny Lock and this lock has a swing bridge in the middle of it. Fenny Wharf used to be a really busy place where coal was brought to the gasworks and flour and sugar was carried from the London docks. So this chap here was visiting boaters to collect their census details. So I helped him across. And now we begin our journey into the town of Milton Keynes. This town was designed by Derek Walker. He reputedly replied it will be greener than the countryside around it and his aim was to lose the city in a recreated forest. 20% of Milton Keynes was to be allocated to Parkland and the initial guidance stated that no building should be higher than the tallest tree. The town was split into localities and each assigned their own family of trees. Now many people criticise Milton Keynes but actually from the water I find it quite an attractive place. Well okay this isn't the most attractive part but stay with me here. Tell you what, come and walk with me for a while along the towpath in Milton Keynes. The Jersey Art Trail was created for local residents to enjoy. It was completed in 2016 and the trail consists of eight pieces in total and each piece relates to the theme of Japanese connections, canal history and natural history. So here we are at the Iron Trunk Aqueduct, also known as the Cosgrove Aqueduct. It's the world's first wide canal cast iron trough aqueduct, set some 12 feet above the river's surface. It is a dazzling and in some cases dizzying route with views as far as the eye can see over the Buckinghamshire and Northamptonshire countryside. There you go, that's better. I hope you enjoyed the journey. Now, I thought it'd be a really lovely idea if I actually did these bits, pieces to camera on the roof next to the new solar panels because they have been fitted. Thank you, Mark, you did a great job. However, ever since we have installed the solar panels, um, the sun seems to have removed itself from the sky and uh, we haven't had any. So we are getting some solar but nothing like we thought we would and it's really cold and it's really windy so I'm sorry, it would have been lovely to do it um, but I'm not going to get on the roof for a while.
But here is the roof and here are the two new solar panels and we have the two flat ones at the front still. So hopefully when the sun comes out we'll have some charge. So normally I have for you uh, a mindful cruise but you have just been on a very long journey to come and have the solar panels fitted here in Cosgrove. So um, I'm going to show you some mindful moments that I've had this week with nature. And there have been some mindful moments. And if I filmed a nest, because I did find a nest at Cosgrove Lock, it's been from a distance using the zoom on the camera so not to disturb it. And I found something really exciting happening at the beautiful Bridge Number 65 on the Grand Union. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. It's your time now to sit back and relax, take care, look after yourself, and please come and join me next week. Bye. Uh -huh. Bridge 65 Bridge 65 has come alive with blue tits as they nest. There's no reprieve till moss and leaves make it the coziest place to lay an egg a day, such a nook to choose, for none will spy, not passers-by, nor boaters as they cruise. <laughs> 